<laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I've got a project for you that I've been wanting to try out for quite some time. So if you have ever watched a lightning storm, or maybe in a fireworks display, you know that if it's at a great distance you can see the flash of light and have some time before the sound gets to you because the light travels much faster than the sound does. Sound takes about five seconds to travel a mile, light does it in like 186 thousandth of a second. I'll throw the metric up here. I'm sure you guys don't need that, really. So, one time, I was watching a lightning storm. And I saw a lightning bolt strike a mountain off in the distance. And then, a short time later, I saw another lightning bolt strike closer to me. And the sound from both strikes got to me at the same time, so I only heard one thunderclap. And that was cool. I've always wanted to try recreating that, so that's what we're doing today. Now since lightning is very unpredictable, in order to produce the sound for this experiment, we're going to have to use thunder in a can. So in theory this should be fairly simple to do. All I need is two thunder in a can charges set a distance apart, have one go off and the other one go off when the sound from the first one gets to it. In order to time the two thunder claps, I thought I'd send the sound from the first one down a tube such as what I have here. This is a 500 foot long plastic pipe. The idea with the pipe is the sound won't spread out in three dimensions. It'll have to go through the one dimension, so it'll maintain its energy as it goes through the tube. When the pressure wave, the sound wave, comes through, it'll hit this balloon, inflating it briefly, connecting a switch here. Got two batteries and then a wire going to set off the second charge. love when things work out. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so the two charges went off. I heard the sound from the first one basically immediately because I was right next to it. And the second one, about a second later, took half a second for the sound to travel down, set off the second can, and then the sound from the second can took another half a second to get back to me. So it's one second round trip. The camera that was closest to it, I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but I imagine they're fairly close together. There might be some delay because the pipe wasn't perfectly straight. You know, there might be a slight temperature difference between the inside and the outside. You know, I tried to do this on an overcast day, so there's no direct sunlight, but, you know, there could be still some difference. And also, the electrical signal to set off the second can, uh, the electricity, the signal actually travels down the wire at the speed of, near the speed of light but the actual can takes a couple of milliseconds to actually go off, so there's probably some delay there as well. But, since I recorded it, I can just review the footage, figure out how long that delay is, and just adjust the length of the wire accordingly. You know, basically skip from the end of the pipe to the second charge, you know, to account for any delay. So I definitely think we're going to try this again, try to get the sounds closer together if possible, and I want more cans. Let's say eight more of them for a total of 10 spaced across an entire mile. I think that'd be quite interesting. 